Hello everyone, this is Dr. Durga Prasad. Now, today we are going to see uh, immediate extraction and implant placement with basal implants in an upper right maxillary canine. I have already extracted this canine. You can see the preoperative x ray. See, this was the x ray. Uh, the tooth was fractured at the crown level. It was the post and core was done, but it was failing twice or thrice. That tooth had uh, that crown had dislodged. If you can see, see this is the crown. So there was no ferrule. The tooth was broken twice or thrice. It has it had come out the crown. So we had planned for an immediate extraction of the root piece and immediate placement with replacement with basal implant. Now this is the extracted tooth that the root piece that I have extracted. Now I have splinted the uh, tooth i have uh, done a surgical excision of this tooth with a burr surgical handpiece this surgical handpiece i had used till the cervical apical third now what happens because the palatal aspect of the uh, root is removed we can easily remove the root very without any efforts and without traumatizing the buccal cortical plate okay now I have al also done the osteotomy for this side and I have taken the x-ray. See this is the x-ray. So this is the lance drill that I have used. Okay. And uh, it, you can see it has perforated the second cortical blow. Second cortical in the maxillary buttress area. This is a very strong bone. You can see there is lots of calcification over here. There was lots of uh, resistance to drill over this area. So we got a very beautiful uh, osteotomy over here. Now we are going to place the implant. Suction. We have calculated the length of the implant. Pause. Now we have we are doing placing the implant. We are getting very good torque. We have done the osteotomy from buccal to palatal direction. As you can see, I've got very good torque over here. Now we'll take an X-ray. The implant is has reached the cortical bone, but it has not engaged it. And it is short, so we will push it a little further. We are getting very high torque, so I have to loosen the bone a little bit so that I can go more deep. See this. We'll take an X-ray again. We have just perforated the partical bone, and we are getting very high torque. This is ideal placement of implant. Now we have placed the implant in a buccopalatal direction. So what we'll do? We will bend this implant. We have taken a little shorter implant. 23 millimeter implant the osteotomy was around 24 millimeter and we have taken 23 millimeter implant so that its collar goes inside and when we bend it it will open open the collar is not exposed and we get a very good emergence profile as you can see now what we are planning since this is a smooth surface implant and this does not have open open anti rotational features so what we are going to do bite so we are going to give wings on both the sides for the lateral and the premolar region so that anti rotational effect is there on the crown processes itself okay so this is how we have replaced a maxillary canine with basal implant now we'll take the impression 
and we'll go ahead with the processes open akara process